How you doing, Dan? I'm good. I'm well, good. <laughs> you're doing great. I'm doing great because we have a tavern now, yeah? <laughs> you do here at uh, Horrocks on the west side of of, uh, of uh, Lansing. And uh, you have this, what you're calling the, the tavern, right? The tavern, the Horrocks Farm Market Tavern, right. And uh, when did you open uh, the tavern? We opened last Saturday. All right, which yep. would be what date? Uh, Let's see. July? Week, July. Something you know, we, or other. We, yeah, we we kind of quietly opened. We just all looked around at each other and said, well, it's time to sell beer. So Fantastic. Uh, well, you've been yeah. selling beer for a long time here at this yep. location. Yep. Uh, have you watched it just grow over the years? We have. This this uh, department has grown quite a bit over the last year, last five years, I should say. Yeah. And uh, we moved from the retail license into a specially designated merchant license so we could sample. That took off really well. In fact, we built this room that you were standing in right now just for the sampling. And that grew enough where we got into the conversation with the owners about having the tavern license where we could actually sell glasses of beer and glasses of wine so people could enjoy a drink while they're shopping. And so uh, this is the end result of it right now. So we're selling glasses of beer, glasses of wine, and uh, we're also filling growlers here. Uh, I, I saw that you have your own Horrocks growlers. We have right? our own Horrocks growler. We're filling those. Uh, we're selling those and filling them, and then we're selling, all right, we're filling uh, growlers from other companies too. So. I noticed too, uh, having to check out the list uh, earlier this weekend, uh, you have a lot of beers that I normally don't see in stores in Michigan. Right. We uh, What we did is we, re we reached out to our vendors and we have a lot of common Michigan craft beers here. And then we also wanted to find those brewers who don't do a retail package, who only sell their beers in barrels to restaurants and pubs. So we we started out with eight different uh, breweries like that on tap. We're gonna keep that program growing. We want everybody to taste a little bit of Michigan beer, whether it's in a package or just on tap. And you have 29 beers on tap, is that right? Yep, we have 29 beers on tap. Well, we have, uh, this is how I like to say it. We have 26 beers, two ciders, Fire Brewed Root Beer and Pabst on tap right now. <laughs> and believe it or not, Pabst sells, doesn't it? <laughs> Pabst sells well, you bet. Yep. Uh, what are you finding that people come in here? Or do they just want to try different things? Or what's what's the number one reason for stopping in here and, and checking, out, checking out the stuff? Well, I think the number one reason is that we're already kind of known as a place to get good craft beer. Uh, the buzz is getting out there about our tavern. So what we're seeing is people coming in and they're trying different beers that are on tap that maybe they didn't have another chance to try or sell it on our shelf so they can try it and now they can buy a glass of it or fill a growler. Right. So exactly. uh, there's a lot of interest in it. What about the pricing for you guys? Pricing seems to be real good. Uh, we haven't had any complaints. Most people seem to be really pleased with our pricing. Uh, we're real comfortable with it. So a uh, glass of beer starts at uh, $4. Uh, most of them are $4. Changes a little bit on some premium beers. A growler fill starts at uh, $9.99 okay. uh, and then it goes up from there. And um, based on the, the, the style of beer, glasses of wine, right now all the wine we have is $3 a glass. Okay. And what, what are you finding? What, what, what's the market? Just uh, families? Uh, is it, uh, you know, families coming into shop? Also, the dads well, and mom coming over here too? We're seeing a little bit of everything. We're yeah. seeing mom and dad come over here, having a little taste, maybe getting some real beer for the kids, taking a growl of real beer home. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing uh, senior citizens coming in. We're seeing... Uh, craft beer freaks coming in. We're, get, we're getting quite a cross-section. It seems to be the same cross-section we have in the market. Yep. And don't forget, you can always get the coffee, right? Yeah, the coffee. Yeah, the, co yeah, the coffee's <laughs> always free of horrocks. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And uh, even though you got the summer, the beer camp, too. Yeah, beer so, camp. Yeah, we sell a lot of the specialty ones that come in, so we uh, got a pretty nice load of beer camp, almost 60 cases of it, and uh, looks like we've gone over... Uh, Sold more than half of it since it's been here. Just the handful of days it's been here. It's a couple of days. Yeah. Where can people get more information about uh, the beer on tap, the wine, and all the different offerings you have here? Yeah. Well, right now we're uh, working on uh, increasing our website, but there is some information on the shopforox.com website. Great. And also we have a Facebook page, uh, the Horox Facebook page, and uh, we keep people up to date on what's going on here on that as well. All right. Well, thanks for your time and uh, continued success. Okay. Thanks, John.